The Google Pixel 4a was one of the best and most popular mid-ranges that has really lovely performance even now. But Google Pixel 5a? I'm not saying anything right now, we'd better get to the review sooner, let's the video. In terms of design, we do not see much difference from the previous generation. This phone weighs 183 grams and is 7.6 mm thick and its size is only 6.3 inches with 20 to 9 ratio. Its curved edge, lightness and excellent weight balance make it one of the most comfortable phones. The back panel and the middle frame are made of aluminum and the front panel is protected by Gorilla Glass 3. The body material of the Pixel 5a, like the Pixel 5, conveys a special feeling between metal and plastic, which is different from other phones and in general the body material is premium, but Gorilla Glass 3 has a negative score in the $430 price range. On the back panel, there are two lenses with flash in a square frame in the corner and in the middle is a recess for the fingerprint sensor and at the bottom is the Google logo. In general, the Pixel 5a like the Pixel 5 and previous generation has a minimal and simple design and is really beautiful. On the front panel is a display with a punch hole selfie camera in the corner and about 85% of the front panel is the display which is acceptable but not great. A big difference with the previous generation is the IP67 standard which shows that this phone is completely waterproof but it is better to don't try it. The display of this phone is OLED with full HD resolution that supports HDR10 content and its pixel density is 415 ppi. The colors on this display are very dynamic and sharp and the depth of black is great. The brightness of this device reaches up to 800 nits and there is no problem to see the content in it even under sunlight, but the refresh rate of the Pixel 5a is only 60Hz which is not good at all for an Android phone at this price and is bit annoying. In terms of security, this phone has a capacity fingerprint sensor on the back panel which is located in a very good place and is completely accessible and its speed is quite satisfactory too. The main lens of this phone is 12.2 megapixels. The photos have good dynamic range and sharpness and the details are well displayed, but white balance is fantastic. In portrait mode the subject separates well from the background and the background blur is done naturally. In night mode the photos have little noise and the brightness of the photos increases well. Ultrawide photos are captured with a 16 megapixels lens. Ultrawide photos do not have a wide viewing angle, but the quality of the photos is close to the main lens with a bit less sharpness. The main camera can record 4K 60 frames per second video and its OIS stabilizer performance is also satisfactory. The Pixel 5a selfie camera is 8 megapixels. The photos have good sharpness and detail and the dynamic range is great as selfie. With a selfie camera you can record 1080p 30 frames per second video and in my opinion it has best camera among under $500 phone. In terms of hardware, Google has decided to use last year's Qualcomm mid-range chipset called 765G and it has 6 gigabits of LPDDR4X RAM. But although this hardware is mid-range, it has no lag or slowness due to the compatible and light software that Google has used in it. But its speed is definitely less than a flagship. But in this price range, it's quite acceptable. In heavy uses, overheating in this phone feels annoying and this is due to the metal body, but it makes the device cold and has a slight reduction in performance, but it gets very annoying when it gets hot. The internal memory of the Google Pixel 5a is 128 gigabits of UFS 2.2, which is a normal speed. This device has Android 11 and has software support for up to 3 years and even receives Android updates earlier than other phones. Android stock is very light and does not have many personalization capabilities and of course the 765G alone is a great mid-range chip but this light software make it even faster. 
The Google Pixel 5a has 4600 mAh of lithium polymer battery and this good capacity with the right software has made this device easily able to work in semi-heavy use for a full day without the need for a charger. This device supports an 18 watt charger and it takes 90 minutes to fully charge it. But the Pixel 5a does not support reverse and wireless charging and this is really bad for this price range. The speaker of this phone is a stereo and has a great volume and produces medium and low sounds well. It also has a 3.5mm audio jack which is really great in 2021. But is the Google Pixel 5a worth buying? Everything in this phone is mid-range so if you are looking for a phone with all features in the middle and good price and the software and camera is also important to you, this phone is highly recommended. Thanks for watching, if you like this video like it and if you like my content, subscribe to my channel, goodbye see you in next video.